Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. We're currently here in Ulster at the Seco HQ and we're going to be talking about their inspiration through innovation event on today's show. Yeah, it's starting on the 9th of October. The show runs for two days. They've got 40 technical partners here. There's 16 machining demonstrations. And throughout today's show, we're going to hear from Richard Jelfs. We're going to talk to Mike Fleming. Mm. Uh, just before we cut to Richard's interview, give us your take on, on what you've learned today. Well, there's loads of seminars. There's loads of tutorials that are going to happen. And they're from entrepreneurs and people from across the globe. So it's not just about the final solution, but it's about getting there. You are going to learn a lot by coming to this event. Whether you own a company, whether you're an engineer that works in a business, there will be solutions here for you to see. This is this this event is about uh, collaboration. It's about a team effort, uh, and that is very much the theme of the Inspiration Through Innovation event. Anyway, enough from us. Let's hear uh, Lindsay talking to Richard. So, Richard, the Inspiration Through Innovation event is happening on the 9th and 10th of October. You're hosting it, but it's not just about you, is it? No, it's absolutely not about us, Lindsay. We, we um, yeah, I mean, we've got this fantastic building, which actually right at this moment in time, we're making some alterations to be able to make changes for, uh, for the event this year. I mean, it, it's wonderful for us to be able to host that. Uh, but actually, this year, again, the focus is on innovation. It is on sharing back best practice, but, it, but it's particularly focused even more on collaboration, okay. on working together. Um, and, and so, you know, it, it's absolutely not a SECO event. It's mm -hmm. a collaborative event where we've got 40 plus technology partners coming in again um, and being very, very focused on working together. So who's yeah. going to benefit from coming along? Well, I, th I think, you know, I, we're really focused on putting uh, metal cutting at the heart of manufacturing. So for those guys that are involved in the metal cutting process, but I think also captains of industry. Um, we're running seminars uh, which are very much uh, focused on the future. Um, and we're also running tutorials which are focused on how to get the best out of your processes. So I would say probably the how-to, the tutorials, are educational and, and, and it mean that guys should learn stuff that they can go away immediately and apply. So if you're working in the, in the metal cutting environment, those absolutely are must for you. And I think also at the same time, the seminars then are focused a bit on the future, a bit on the bigger picture. Um, and I think those are things, those are opportunities for, let's just use the metaphor of a captain on a ship. Right. Yeah? Get out of the engine room. It's important to be in the engine room stoking the fire, let's mm. say. But actually, it's important to get onto the bridge and to have a view. Yeah. To have the bigger view, to see what, what, you know, what is the trajectory we want to go on, who can help us get there, are there any new ideas, are there ways to do things faster and better? So I think that's, it's for both. Uh, Mike, it must be, well, it's a fantastic event. It really has some traction these days. In fact, in its fifth year. Mm. Uh, if you're a machine tool supplier, you must really want to get involved in this, don't you? Absolutely, I think so. And you know, we've seen that in the amount of uh, partners that are wanting to be involved in our event. In fact, uh, we do actually have a waiting list because we are constrained by the capacity of our environment. So tell us about some of the machines that are going to be on show this year. I mean, you've got your own machines, which you've got behind us here. Yes. Uh, yeah. may maybe start with those. And we've got yes. the Hermes. So we've got the four Hermes, which are normally production machines, but this year uh, we are giving them over to the event. So we're putting on um, machining demonstrations on each of the four Hermes machines we have in our production. We also have a, a Mazak on site, which we're also turning over to the event, and also um, the uh, DMG. Okay. Yeah, the DMG. So uh, over and above that as well, you've got, n I believe, nine machine tools being, coming in here in the next few weeks in yes. anticipation, ready for the show. Yes. What are some of those? Because there's even some launches in there. In fact, I, I, I'll start by saying the Romy D800 V5, that's coming in, we're a brand new machine. Very excited about that. So it's been launched in the UK. I believe it's in the showroom now in uh, Romy's uh, facility, but the first time that the machining will be here at the event, so we're very excited about that. Uh, we also have a, the, the Doosan machine, the NHP, the horizontal machining centre. That will be the first time that this that machine has been seen here Definitely as well. Definitely will be, will be, absolutely. Yeah. And, and tell us about some of the machining demonstrations that are happening, because this isn't just about coming here and bringing, bringing any component, is no. it? There has to be a bit of a theme here. Absolutely. So this, this is to me the exciting part, this is putting machining at the heart of innovation. So part of the criteria has been in this event is that we're cutting metal. So all 16 machining demonstrations will be cutting metal. But it's also about collaboration. It's about the machining environment and all the actors within that environment coming together and collaborating. So from machine tool 
work holding, cutting tools, fixturing and so forth, all coming together and contributing to the machining process to give a, a best practice solution for machining customer components. It's September the 21st and this is day one of the eagerly anticipated Inspiration Through Innovation event at CK. I know you partner many companies, but why Seco Innovation? Well, Seco are uh, a world leading cut and tool manufacturer. Paul, we have eight seminars over two days. CAD CAM companies, coolant, fixturing, machine tools, metrology, inspection, and cutting tools. It's a great opportunity for us to, to reconnect, if you like, with Seco. For many of us, we are all competing in a crowded marketplace. We've been doing this uh, event since the infancy. Tell me a little bit more why you partner Seco. Uh, the main reason we partner with Seco is this event gives us the chance to show our machining technology but also to network with people of like-minded engineering techniques and look at other products that are available. Probably the, the biggest event that we run throughout the year. Um, this year it's bigger than ever before. So it does make a big difference to physically see and then physically see the machine cut. Um, we're really excited about the number of exhibits we've got. We're actually maxed out for space. The whole idea with the show is that um, we bring together a whole bunch of technology partners that cover the whole machining environment. We bring it together under one roof where we really can wrap great solutions around whatever it is our customers making. Inspiration through innovation, the collaboration is at the heart and at the core of this event. We have 42 partners attending this event from all aspects of the machining process, from machine tool, work holding, CAD CAM, cutting tools, metrology and coolant. And they're all intrinsic to machining components. And bringing them all together in a collaborative environment is extremely important. So we wouldn't see Inspiration Innovation as a Seco event, we would see it as a partnership event. And then that's what we're trying to encourage and inspire, that we all come together on an equal footing to deliver the best solutions and processes for our customers. I think we are all experts in our own fields, pretty much sure, but we are not so uh, familiar with other fields. By coming together, we can bring all the expertise, so from a different perspective, expertise come together. We all need each other. We can't uh, exist on ourselves. I mean, cutting tools don't work without work holding, without CAD CAM, and, and vice versa. So we need to be together anyway, but we need to be collaborating on a much closer level because by doing that, we can deliver a much, much more impressive solution. The event is getting stronger and stronger year on year. Uh, we had over 700 people attend last year. We expect the numbers to be higher, but it's not really about the numbers, it's about the quality. For us, it's very important that whether it's the machining demonstrations, the tutorials, the seminars, or the exhibition area, that you have a great time there and you learn something and you come out with something more than when you went in with. I would also say on that, you know, when it comes to collaboration, there's an old African proverb and it goes like this. Many people have probably heard it. You know, it says, if, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. And I think, you know, for all of us, speed is an issue. But actually, most of us know already that actually we do want to go fast. And we are probably, as engineers, tempted to do that alone. Yes. But actually, I think it's about both. We want to go fast and we want to go far. And the only way that we're going to do that and get it right is to do it together. Yes. So that's what this is about. Optimising yeah. everything. Yeah. Okay, so the Seco event happening on the 9th and 10th of October here in Ulster. You've got to come along.